Hey guys, hope your day is blessed. You know, um, last night I was at a Bible study and I, I had a certain word for someone there and, but I got to thinking about that word and I really think it's a word for all of us right now. Many of you have been placed in very difficult situations, very precarious situations, where you have nothing really in this world to hold on to anymore, where you have to trust in and rely on God each day. And I think he's done that to a lot of his bride right now on purpose. You just have been placed in a situation where your finances are out of whack or your marriage is suffering or your job is insecure. It's different for each of us, but what I felt the, the father saying to me lately, and this was the word for the other person, and I think it's a word for a lot of you, is live with me in the present. I want to teach you to trust me with each step. I want you to hold my hand, child, and, and to take the next step that I tell you to take. And when you get there, I'll show you the next one. And it's a kind of um, higher level of faith. But it's the... Um, It's the calling for the bride right now. It's the purification. It's the um, carving away of the last remaining pieces of this world. And um, I think it's a final lesson for us before we enter into that next realm. I've noticed in my own life that when I begin to look out into the future, I lose my peace. But when I exist in the present with him and I just trust him for the next step and I just ask him for the manna for the day, my peace increases and his presence in me grows. And some, some sort of change takes place in the spiritual. And the connection between myself and him is made complete somehow. Or at least more complete. So if you are in that kind of situation where There's a whisper in your ear to look out into the future and there's a instability in your life in one way or another. I want to encourage you to stay in the present. To listen to the voice of the Father, as He instructs you in the moment. The other thing 
I wanted to talk about. Um, I, I just have some thoughts um, about the solar eclipse in August. And I've been holding off on this because I don't want to disrupt uh, anyone's hope. And I think we need to stay in that place of believing that it's today. That he's coming today. And I don't want to cause um, anyone doubt in believing that. We have to continue to believe that. But I just have a thought about the solar eclipse and it's this. If the order of events prophecy from um, that 10 year old is correct and I believe it is and and if you haven't heard it basically uh, he said that once the rapture occurs um, there's a three day wedding feast on the fourth day, those who are slated to come back and help will come back and help. And on that same day, meteors will pelt the earth for a full 24 hours. And on the fifth day, America will be destroyed by nuclear war. My thought is this. What if America is destroyed <clears throat> on the day of that solar eclipse. And I only say that because I wonder who else that sign would be for. Because if America is totally destroyed by nuclear war now, and that solar eclipse isn't until August 21st, who would that sign be for? It only goes over the United States. So I'm just wondering if. If when it hits, that's the day of America's destruction. And if so, that would mean that the rapture would take place roughly five days prior to that. Which would be the 16th of August. Um, so I don't know. It's just a thought. There was someone on this channel that posted a comment. Um, I forget who it was, but they had a dream of the, of that eclipse. And they said they heard people screaming as that eclipse went over. So... That got me to thinking. Anyway. Um, keep looking up and uh, I'm praying for you. Either way, we know that the time is very near. So stay in the Lord. Stay in the present. Just look at that next step and no further. All right. I think that's where I want you, Brad. So God bless you, and um, I'll talk to you again soon.